I just spent ages in the back of that van trying to think of a good intro for this video and that's the best I could come up with. Me jumping out and saying hi. Hello. Howdy. Hola. Bonjour. Oh crap. Konnichiwa. Someone's coming by now. It's really important that the first few moments of a YouTube video are really engaging because that helps with retention, which helps with views, which helps with growing your channel and your ability to make a career here. So hopefully that was engaging enough. I'm sure it was. Anyway, hello and welcome back to another episode of I do stuff on camera and, and you watch it. The thing I'm doing on camera today is sleeping in this van. Would you have guessed? I mean, it's what I've done in every single video so far, isn't it? Mostly. If I lie down like this and talk to you, it feels a little bit like you guys are giving me therapy, I guess. So here's the plan. I'm gonna go to a shop, I'm gonna buy some things for dinner. I'm then gonna find somewhere to camp, I'm gonna cook there, and then I'm gonna try and sleep there. Maybe with a walk. And then the next day, I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna leave that place, and I'll probably somewhere in there talk about how much I love being outdoors. Because that is actually true, I do love being outdoors. So at some point, I'll get really pensive and I'll say that a lot. Uh, yeah, and also, this is gonna be a little bit different because I've got a cool new toy for dinner later. Something which you'll never guess. It's a ridge monkey. Like genuinely, it's gonna be a surprise for later on, so I'm not gonna say anything for now. It's a ridge monkey. You, you won't be able to guess what it is. Yes, you will. It's a ridge monkey. So hopefully that will boost retention. Anyway, shall we, uh, shall we go to the shop? Shop just this way, innit? It's an Audi. Howdy from Audi. Now I tell you what, this is some seriously high quality stuff we're getting here. This is good, this is good stuff. Oh. Right, I didn't buy much. I only really bought Oh, come on, dark, dark, all the time. I only really bought a loaf of bread. You will be wondering why have I bought a loaf of bread? You won't be able to know. It's because of my special surprise from later that I haven't told you about. It's a Ridge Monkey, which is a toasty maker thing. And some Passata, because I'm not gonna tell you why. Because I'm gonna make a pizza toasty, so I need Passata. Now, I think I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, John, what the bloody hell are you doing? Well, the thing is, is the van is pretty new. So I don't actually have a recording setup for the van yet. In the last van, I knew exactly where I could mount each camera because you're not supposed to touch cameras whilst you're driving. So I can pull over, press record and get going. But I don't have a filming setup here. I do have a GoPro facing forward, but it's not really a good enough view for me. Oh. How do I always do that? What I'm trying to say is that I have a GoPro set up, but I didn't have a camera facing me set up, so I, I quickly ran home and grabbed some tape so I could stick a tripod down to my dash. I really don't know if this is going to work, but hey, we give it a go, and if it doesn't work, I mean, it might break my camera, but you know. Yeah, actually, that would be bad. That would be bad. Hey, there we go. Right, anyway, we've messed around enough. Let's get going and try and find somewhere to camp this evening. So I'm not entirely sure how good this setup will look. I'm not entirely sure how good this footage is, but if you're watching it, then that means I deemed it good enough to put in the video, so that's good. And this evening, we are heading to the western edge of the peak district. I don't know if it actually counts as being in the Peak District or if it's just outside, but basically I'm using Trusty Park for night. I wanted to look around and make sure I found somewhere which got good ratings but wasn't too far away. Don't get me wrong, this is a little bit of a drive now, but it's not too big a drive. So yes, going to the edge of the Peak District in our new Trusty Van. It's only the third video on this channel, although I have used the van a bit recently. In fact, the other day, I took it to go to a wedding. Who says you can't get ready for a wedding in a van? Look at this. Oh -ho! It's also been down to Norfolk with me to see some old uni friends, but I didn't get any footage from there because I am a terrible filmmaker, bad filmmaker. I did actually head out for a bit of a walk earlier and I kind of wish I'd started vlogging early because it was semi-eventful. I saw a swarm of bees, which I don't know if I've ever seen before. Bees there, they'd be swarming. So that's a thing. Am I safe? I guess I'm safe. 
They don't seem to be bothering me. It's pretty cool though. Pretty cool. And then I got into a staring contest with a cow. Oh, right, you win. Which I lost, so yeah. Oh, by the way, we do actually now have a name for this van. Would you like to hear it? Drum roll, please. None of you guessed it, it's, it's Freddy. <laughs> Freddy the van, Freddy, but she is still a she. So Freddy, like Frederica or Winifred or Frida, Freddy. Um, yeah, long story short, the first two letters of the license plate are Freddy, FD. That's how it came about. I, it's always underwhelming, but trust me, just as much as you love the name Betty for Betty the Berlingo, you're gonna like Freddy. You're probably, I'm sorry, it's Freddy. No one guessed Freddy, so yeah. Anyway, let's crack on with the journey and find our parking spot for this evening. It's okay. This is okay. Oh god. What a bridge there. Oh, hello. All the struggles. Just scraping the bottom of my brand new van, don't worry about that. Oh look, there's some other camper vans. I have not done a camp yet where there's been other camper vans and there is four. There's a lot here. Be honest with you guys, feeling a little self-conscious about there being so many people here. So, not sure how we're going to go about it. Oh, so I've jumped in the back and I've done it all stealthily. Normally, I would put a camera down and I would make the whole sequence quite cinematic, but there are so many people here. So basically, I turned up, I pulled in into the middle of like a group of camper vans which were already here, and I kind of feel like. I've just plonked myself in the middle of a party because all of the camper vans appear to know each other. Um, either that or they're just being very friendly. No, but I, I really think they know each other and I've just plonked my van right in the middle. So even when I jumped out of the van, I would normally put the camera down, as I said, but there was a guy just right there. There's a bin right in front of my van. And I don't know. Like, I've always enjoyed... The thing I enjoy most about stealth camping is being secluded. I don't mind sharing the space with one or two other people, but like I said, there's quite a few people here and I feel like, I don't know, I'm spoiling the party a little bit. I wimped out. I feel incredibly antisocial about it. Actually, I should probably, oh, be careful down it. Oh, <laughs> right. Yeah, I feel bad about it, but um, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. I didn't feel like I could be out of the van that much. And it wasn't because anyone there looked particularly, you know, you know, untoward or anything like that. I just felt uncomfortable. I'm incredibly socially awkward, despite my clear charisma. <laughs> so I found another spot on Park for Night. It is about 25 minutes away. So I'm not going to bore you with lots of me talking between now and then. We're just going to do time lapse and oh, hello. I'm not sure how I can do this. Time lapse and there, I guess. These roads are incredibly tight, but we're managing. We're getting by. They're not built for vans. I can tell you that. Right, yeah. Time lapse and then next spot. Hopefully, fingers crossed, no one there. you what I know I said I wasn't going to talk I was just gonna do time-lapse but this has worked out really well because I've gone from being just outside of the Peaks National Park to being in it <laughs> and these roads are bloody gorgeous the time-lapses you're gonna see of this are unreal and okay fine it is drizzling a little bit but it's quite high cloud I'm not worried about that these things happen for a reason these things happen for a reason the reason being, I didn't check the weather and I am far too socially awkward to be making friends. I'm really sorry to those guys. I, I just wanted to be on my own, okay? 
Because yes, 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 there is some cars here already, but, and this is a big but, they're not camper vans. And I highly suspect that once they're done with their daily activities or whatever, they're going to bugger off. If by some weird fluke the people at the last place are watching, again, sorry, you did nothing wrong at all, but this is way more like it. The big difference between doing these camps now and earlier on in the year, obviously, except for the vehicle, is the fact that the evenings are so much longer. So it means that when I turn up to these spots, I don't have to just hop in the back and start cooking. I can go for a walk first. And I'm in the peaks as well, so it means all the walks are gorgeous. Look at this. I wasn't expecting this today. Oh, there seems to be lots of walks, but um, I'm hungry. Look at that. Car park has definitely settled down. I moved the van as well to a flatter spot, but yeah, definitely a lot calmer now. Right guys, I know the suspense must be killing you. I won't keep you waiting anymore. The mystery thing I've bought for my van, the thing that I'm gonna cook my dinner in is, it's a Ridge Monkey. Yep, I am just like every other van channel. Just you wait till some big power unit sponsors me. Then we'll be talking. As you can tell, I was winging this, so I'm sure this will come out okay, but I'm just putting it on there and flip it over. That, that's all I've got to do, surely. <laughs> oh, that is looking decent. That is looking decent. This might just be my best idea yet. Mm. Let's find a good spot to eat this. Mm. That's delicious. I know it's gonna seem like I'm taking a piss based on my summary of what this video is gonna be like earlier, but I, if there's anything I love more than being outside, it's eating outside. That has come out so well.
How lucky am I that the other place was so busy and had so many people and there's so many flies out here though. Right. <sighs> Bedtime, I think. I'm having hot chocolate with marshmallows for dessert because no one can tell me not to. That and I'm a massive child. Who's an adult? So I can be a massive child. I was worried it would take ages to get the bed set up every night and I'd find it annoying and wish that I'd gone for a permanent bed, but it's actually super quick. Check it. There we go. Ugh. All complete, just like that. No faff whatsoever. So now you can paint me like one of your French girls. Right, I need sleep. I'm clearly delusional. Good night. Morning. It's definitely interesting having the new van because the one thing that I want the van for is to go outdoors and explore. And obviously with such a nice big van, you can not leave the van. So I think I still want to make sure that I'm making the effort in the morning to come out and have my coffee outside. There are so many midges out here though. Oh, that might be a mistake. <sighs> I suppose that's what happened when you camp near water. Right, the midges are absolutely swarming. So it's time for me to make a quick exit before I am eaten alive. Or just irritated, irritated to death, bloody midges. But actually, this was a lovely spot. And I would come back here, but I'd maybe wait till the autumn or the winter because, yeah, I don't like not really being able to be outdoors. When I was drinking my coffee there, I was going, oh, I like being outdoors. And then I just got absolutely swarmed. So second swarm I've seen. If you have any ideas for where you would like to see me go in future, then let me know. Me and Charlie have got a weekend in Wales booked for a couple of weeks time, so there'll be that to follow. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to drive off. The roads here are really narrow, so check out this crazy time lapse. Don't be a dick. 